Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Today we're going to look at Pathfinder's Extinction Curse, Part 1, The Show Must Go On. Hmm. Um, I just want to talk to you briefly about it. It's, it's hard to really explain adventure books, in my opinion, because you don't want to spoil too much. But the idea is that uh, you start out working in the circus. Oh, so this is a level 1 to 4 campaign. Okay. You start working for a circus. Right. And you, you know, the show's about to go on and uh, the ringmaster is dead. <laughs> <laughs> so it's... it's Dead! <laughs> it's part murder mystery in the beginning, but at the same time, the show must go on. As of course. Tyler says. So yep. you gotta, you gotta uh, keep the circus running as you're investigating what's going on. Oh. And then uh, as you're trying to piece together why the ringmaster has died and what's going on around town, you get to realize it's a huge, big conspiracy going on oh my with another uh, settlement down down uh, nearby and uh, there's also a tower there's magic there's demons there's all sorts of crazy oh my things okay um, that escalated quickly you know yeah no, it, gets, it gets really wild by, by the fourth <laughs> chapter any, like, any dancing owl bears <laughs> no no alright the art's fantastic they do a good job with that but I'll be honest with you the real thing for me is not the adventure itself it's a cool adventure. It's a lot of there's a lot of things happening in town, and it's open ended enough. That's the thing I love about this is that it's open enough so that I'm not feel railroaded to this adventure. I could just there's a lot of different things you can do. You know? Excellent. They do a great job flushing out the town that you're in, uh, flushing out the uh, uh, the what's around the the outside. I don't want to say too much because it it leads everything leads to the to that tower at the end where you try to figure out what's how what's going on there and how is this affecting the the land around? Because supposedly the land is is dying also. There's like okay, like there's, there's, uh, animals are not producing enough. Uh, uh, plants are die are, are withering. You know all sorts of crazy stuff. You know a lot of really like, epic craziness. Okay. Um, but what I really like about this, honestly, is that it gives you some back information about how to run a circus, you know? Oh. Which is great because if in case you don't like the adventure, I could just take some of the material back here and just do my own adventure, make my own circus. Maybe make a couple of different circus amusement park adventures with your characters. Um, I don't know if your groups may like that, but I've come across so many different groups that like so many different things. I could think of one particular in the past that I would have brought this up, but they would have probably jumped at the chance for it. You know? Well, that's actually pretty interesting because um, surprisingly, I can think of maybe half a dozen RPG circuses. Hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, Ravenloft and, and yeah. World of Darkness and some other D&D. &D. Circus seems like a popular theme. Yeah, something about circuses that have that theme of wonder, but also there's like a bit... Elements of horror. Yeah, I kind of let something wicked this way comes. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, they have um, a new creatures. Uh, again, I, I like the fact that as information here, you can start yeah. circus themed adventures if you want to. Uh, there's also more information about, you know, this has its own. Again, Pathfinder puts up so much material. So it has, this has new uh, archetypes. Wow. This, like a juggler and so forth, uh, you know, circus type of related. So adventures. your characters are in the circus? Yes. So you have to be a trapeze artist or a fire eater or something? Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean it's... Or you just sell corn dogs? Could be that too. Oh, okay. You know, it could be, could be any, all sorts. Yeah. It could be uh, uh, carny. Okay, yeah. That's a word yeah. I've been used in a while. Carny? Um, you could be a thief working the marks. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You know, so there's, there's, there's a lot that's fun here. There's, again, it's own monsters, it's own archetypes. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I I would give this a 14. Yeah, 14. 14. Yeah. I think it's... Or 3 it's, to 18. If you're looking for a different flavor of something, mm -hmm. you know, um, if you're like, man, I would love to do like a circus... Uh, amusement park, crazy horror, maybe, or adventure related to that some way. Uh, there's some great material here to help you out with it. Uh, yeah. Actually, I love the posters. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, uh, I love the Yeah, the art for this posters. is pretty Everything fantastic. Nice. This, is a, this is a good uh, adventure book. Again, if I, if, if I were going to a con and this was available to play, I would play a session just to check it out. Excellent. Excellent. Right, and a 14. So, yeah. Sounds good. All so, right. uh, yes, have you played this? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, ever want to join a circus? I guess you could tell us that too in the comments below if you really want to share that. Run away but, and join the circus. Yeah. <laughs> <Take care. laughs> and I uh, guess, have a great day, everybody.